This episode of the DJ Force X podcast is proudly sponsored by Fixed. Fixed is a fan and artist friendly independent record label that specializes in hybrid electronic rock. It's home to the likes of Cell Dweller, Blue Starly, I Will Never Be the Same, Richie Nicks, The Algorithm, Voicians, Celia Kira, and a whole bunch more. Check out their latest label sampler for just $1. At their official store, fixedstore.com. That's F I X T store.com. Save 10% off your first order by using my coupon code FORCEX. That's F O R C E X. They have loads of shirts, hoodies, stickers, posters, and many other accessories for all their artists. And this is available worldwide with fantastic international shipping rates to go with that. So head over to fixstore.com and check them out. And don't forget, use my coupon code FORCEX. Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the DJ FORCEX podcast. I have Bryce from French Outfit uh, Smash Hit Combo coming up soon. Uh, this is going to be a quick intro, uh, just a quick one. Please rate and review the show on iTunes. Uh, secondly, it's quick because I've got a bit of strep throat this week and my throat's sore. So I just want to kind of get it done and on its way up. And um, yeah, uh, check out my radio show on Tuesday nights, 11 p.m. UK time on Total Rock, uh, 6 p.m. East Coast as well. And uh, on the mix.fm on Saturday nights at midnight. Um, so yeah, this is Bryce from Smash Hit Combo. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Bryce. You're from French rap metal band Smash Hit Combo. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you as well. I'm, uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Just came back from rehearsal and um, uh, just grab a beer and I'm just here for you now. <laughs> nice. Excellent. That's all good. <laughs> You're not distracted or anything, so that's all good. So, um, no, no. Okay. Don't worry. Nah, cool. So Smash Hit Combo. Um, for the benefit of my listeners who may not have heard of your band, because um, this goes out over this side of the pond, over in England, and it's getting picked up in various parts of Europe as well. So Europe, mainland Europe may have heard of you, especially France, because you're from there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So can you give me some history on the band? Like where you started, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, sure. Sure. So we started in, um... well, shit. Uh, I, I need to, I need to practice my English a little. Yeah, no uh, two hundred, uh, no, two thousand, uh, uh, two thousand five. Okay. So it was a pretty long time ago, but we were playing uh, more like a hardcore hardcore band. Yeah. Then uh, we had a our singer that was um, that was doing rehearsal in the um, the rehearsal room next to ours. Okay. And one day he just came by. Uh, to uh, <clears throat> to a rehearsal and he tried one song with us and uh, we just thought that it was pretty much cool. Nice. <laughs> so we said, okay, man, let's go do two songs and three songs. And then we had a show and people said, you should do a band all over this kind of of style because it's more original. That's that the the original that um, that we were playing just yeah. uh, hardcore music. <laughs> So we started with it, and then we had some some deathcore, uh, more brutal stuff in it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were going we were going this way for a few years, and recently we had some more gent uh, influences on it. Uh, yeah, more kind of new modern metal stuff in it. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely hear that on your uh, latest album. Um... Yeah. Oh, it's called Play More. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it escaped me exactly. from it. Um, yeah. but going back to the first time I heard you, uh, your record company at the time sent me Reset. Yeah, um, okay. And... Yeah, that was more deathcore and more uh, yeah, metalcore stuff. Yeah, in it, in and you general. had um, more electronic like influences come in on that as well, um, yes. which is why, why it really... Because uh, I have a radio show that plays... Okay. Uh, it specializes in the, the, the electronic and rock crossover. 
all right and cool. you your sound fell into that some of those tracks on there uh it was like i played like 2.0 and um yeah Authent- okay. authentic and um just tracks like that i mean that this was back when i got sent that album originally and um yeah and then recently your your current your management sent me play more and it's kind of it's a bit more brutal i feel than the than that one yeah definitely definitely um, yeah. and yeah i mean it, definitely i can hear the gent influence on those yeah. tracks as well and i really love um was it in game uh yeah uh, d phase and animal nocturne and what was the other one uh, is it 48 hft and l j yeah, yeah, i actually yeah, wrote yeah. that one down because i wouldn't remember it um, <laughs> <laughs> okay no problem but no some, some of those i've already played on my show and there there it's a really it is a really heavy album and obviously with um i think all but one of the tracks are in like the language is french i think there was yes, one yes. track that it was one of the ones i mentioned i can't remember which yeah. one it was but it had a guest only one only one is in english uh yeah. is the last one yes yeah. yes so um that was i mean that was one thing that i was like really interesting because i like i always hear obviously being english you get all the english like uh speaking bands and and i've i've played with bands in the past that are from okay. various parts of europe and their first language is not english but they sing english in english yeah. all the same and it was, yeah. it was it's very strange like then speaking to them or trying to speak to them outside of that and they're not actually fluent in english <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is always fun but um this is a big discussion because um because uh, lots of people uh are telling us yeah it's very cool what you what you're doing but uh we can't understand anything you're saying because of the <laughs> french language so uh yeah, we had we we had lots of discuss about it and this year it's going to be a um, a uh, new step because we're going to record an English album finally. Oh, okay. So the next album is going to be released in two languages. Oh with... wow, so you're actually going to do both languages and so... Yeah, we're going to do both, but okay. uh we're going to make it with uh not our singer. It's going to be another singer that's going to making the rap parts because when you're French, yeah. Uh, uh it's pretty difficult to have the accent, the flow, everything yeah. if you want to be like if you want that it sounds good. Uh, when you're French, you know the accent uh, yeah. is pretty difficult to get. Yeah, no, I, I mean I've always had. Um, it's really weird. Like back, oh, must must be about ten, fifteen years ago, I started hearing like more French hip hop. So it was all French yeah. language, and okay. um, I always felt that it flowed better. It had a certain flu- fluency to it that that in Eng- in French, you mean? Yeah, in French. Yeah, oh, really. I, I understand little bits of French here and there. Obviously, being from England, I learned french in school never mastered it but i got i sort of learned enough to get by uh, okay and i so you can I, understand what it what what the the mc says and yeah a little bit here and there you know i mean uh, gradually i pick more up the more i listen to it the more i understand but if i was just okay. fleetingly past it then i wouldn't quite grasp it but um okay yeah, yeah. no i mean I've, I've i've been to france many times you know from england it's very easy to get across via a boat so you're familiar train, really. okay I, I am i i in fact i proposed to my wife in paris so oh, oh. <laughs> yeah okay. so well, you know, well, you know, what it, can be better place than than, than this <laughs> exactly exactly and it, it's it, it's got a special place inside me so it's um it's a place that i've been many times before and uh even i got nice. interviewed by a um a rock one magazine yeah okay uh, yeah, yeah. back then as well uh in combined with my bat uh, my former band's uh second album okay so okay. you know right. france france has or, or paris specifically has more of a, an attachment to me in you know okay so maybe that's why yeah i think so <laughs> i think because i can kind of grasp what the mc is saying and it's you know okay. but i've always found that the the fluency of, of french hip-hop and rap has always been very um there's just a certain flow to it that's really gravitated to me and you have that in your uh in okay. your sound because i love metal as well so it's kind of you're kind of throwing everything okay. at it and cool. it's great so yeah just a bunch of compliments there for you <laughs> yeah yeah thanks a lot <laughs> that's cool so well, um, not everything not everything likes the french uh rap actually lots okay. of people um uh, lots of people think that it's it's cool for uh literature it's very um very nice hearing but in rap it's it's kind of weird yeah but depends on people of course it does yeah. it uh, you know and, and a lot of people are like especially with metal you're you are very much used to hearing it in english no matter where the band is yeah. from yeah you know, bar, um like bands like rammstein who have maintained the german um, yes element yes. to their music and uh 
trying sure. some other bands that kind of keep their language going that were quite big. Not that much, actually. <laughs> no, there isn't that much. So, but you know, some bands do make it through, like say Ramstein. Yeah, you know, made it through to the populace. You know, they're, they're but it, pretty. But much... it goes with their style too. It goes it... with the, style, the kind of music they're making. So yes. It's... Yeah, that's very true as well. And then obviously there's a like you know a plethora of metal bands doing you know yeah. same kind of stuff here and there. And you know it's just sort of if you're in one yeah. language that isn't a dominant language, it's kind of you know, definitely it does hinder. But you know, good news that you're you know doing one in English. For the, what for the, I say, it's good news that you're doing an album in English. Oh for yeah, the next yeah. One. So when 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 do you plan to have that recorded and out? Do you know yet? It's going to be recorded. It's going to be recorded next month. Oh wow, that's soon. Uh, okay. <laughs> with with the with the singer that 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 made the last song, uh, which uh, it's shit. Uh, 48 hours oh, something like this yes. yeah that one yeah <laughs> that one and uh he's called uh nlg josh and he's coming next next month to uh, to france and we're gonna make a a whole record of it so because we thought that that it could be uh it could be interesting to to try uh the, the kind of music we're making in 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 english yeah. i think it it can offer uh, some different perspective um in matter of uh, in composition and the flow, yeah. rhythm, this kind of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna try it with him, and okay. it's gonna be released uh, hopefully in the end of the year or early next year. Yeah, because Playmore came out last year, didn't it? Was it last yeah. year, yeah, yeah. So or... I got it a bit late, <laughs> kind of <laughs> off the boil. But then I, I sort of got back in contact with, uh, okay. like I say, with your management, and um, yeah, because I, I didn't realize there's a few bands recently that were kind of escaped my view uh just because I've, <laughs> I've been busy or i haven't you know that we haven't kept in contact but um right. you know it happens but now you know i'm i'm a bit more aware of you guys and and you now know, you have it it's okay yes <laughs> yes exactly exactly and i've had it on i've shown it i've played it to a couple of friends of mine here as well and they really like it i think they just okay. like the, the the french part of it you know that kind of twist on it that Okay, cool. You don't, you don't get that. You get loads of bands here that kind of, you know, scream along to the same stuff. But hearing a different okay. language and things like that is is sometimes it can uh, shine a different light on it. So mm, yeah, maybe. So um, with the because uh, like, like I say, my radio show sort of specialises in the crossover of electronic and metal. Um, what what brought okay. the electronic side of things to your band? Are you going to maintain that side, or are you sort of going more just instrument based? Mm, actually, before we had uh, we had a DJ uh, working with us on the first uh, first album, mm-hmm. and uh, he was more specialized on this on this electro stuff. And okay. um, now uh, it's our guitarist that is making all uh, with computers and production. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it this way, but not more. I think. Okay. Because um, I think it's it's different job. Electro metal. I mean, um, you have to be really into it to yeah. get uh, to be very um, to be good at it. I mean, you need to work on it and stuff. And we are working on guitar tones and strange yeah. uh, rhythm stuff. And I'm not sure if we're getting getting uh, too much of it. We're gonna be as good as a real electro band on this kind of stuff. Okay. So we're gonna keep it a little part of it but not not that much okay all right cool yeah because i saw it, it did lessen on play more than it did on reset um on that yeah side. so i was just wondering if it was something that you were sort of holding back on or if it was something you were just sort of moving away from so yeah we're gonna keep it the same way i think because sometimes it's really cool to have some uh, kind of electro stuff to 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 get it down yeah. on on some verse on the kind of this kind of stuff but um yeah not too much Okay. Well, that's, that's enough cool. for us <laughs> cool cool so um what what are the plans current apart from obviously recording your new album do you have any other plans coming out like touring or anything like that uh yeah we're gonna you're going back to russia uh we're gonna making a good um uh good festival there it's called Dobro, dobro fest i don't know how to say it. and um and then we're gonna work uh, next month on the french version of the album yeah and so, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of work on it, and this year we're gonna we're gonna re, re um, focus on recording and uh, all this stuff. But we have we have shows um, uh, for for um, for the the second half of the year. But um, I don't know, we don't have 
that much that much uh, okay. geeks for now okay. for sure but they're gonna there's gonna be a new uh, music video uh, that's gonna be released in one or two weeks okay the song the, uh, the song I told you before uh, with the with Josh yes so this one is gonna be released okay and uh, we still have a few videos that are that's gonna be coming uh, for for play more okay still. so you're still supporting that one even though you're yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. that's really cool yeah yeah um, of course and there's gonna be some new video this year too about, about the, the new album also nice excellent excellent so um, are you releasing on the same label for this album forthcoming album yeah right? yeah it's all yeah. the same it's all the same we're we're all doing uh, pretty much all by ourselves okay and uh, with dark tunes on uh, on um, <clears throat> digital settings but the uh, rest of rest of, of of the production is all by ourselves because we are from a very little <laughs> city in France <laughs> we're not from Paris we no. are we're even not from Strasbourg, which is in the east of France. We are really in a small, small town. Where, and, where uh, are you based? Uh, what? Where are you where? based? Uh, it's uh, near Mulhouse. Mulhouse? Mulhouse, yes. It's, I told you, it's a really small city. Uh-huh. It's at uh, the border to Germany. Okay. So, like, half an hour to Germany, to Freiburg. And um, yeah, that, that's where we grow and that's where we start it all. And we learn it to do everything by ourselves <laughs> so yeah. i'm making the videos my my guitarist is making all the um, the sound production and and yeah we we um we have um everything done by by our all um by yourself sorry my english is oh, uh... that's absolutely fine <laughs> no, I, I understand you you're right so um yeah no so you're a bit more of a self-contained band you do everything yourself you fund everything um, yeah, yeah, obviously by yeah, working and stuff. So, yeah, mostly because when you are doing rap metal <laughs> in a small band, uh, nobody's gonna help you. No, no, they're not. If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna get, no. I mean, we are not. Uh, this kind of music is not uh, like that big, you know. And yeah. uh, you need to to find ways to um, uh, to get bigger by yourself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you need that's to... sad but that's true yes no that is true i mean it's just getting into those um the, the right tours getting the right festivals all that kind of stuff so yeah um, and it, do, it does happen you know you get you get you will you know you get picked up you work hard enough you know people start to notice and okay okay know, great it does it does happen so as long as you keep going <laughs> slowly slowly <laughs> yeah no i'm just looking to see where where Mulhouse is in front and i see it now okay i've not been over to that side of france so <laughs> oh, yeah. you should you should come here and make you visit <laughs> yeah no i've been i've been to where have i been i've been to obviously marseille paris uh, oh marseille yeah this yeah. is in the south yeah okay uh, i spent uh, a weekend in saint etienne uh playing mm-hmm. playing rink hockey um okay or roll yeah, hockey that's a nice place. uh and i've been to calais as most english people calais, have. Oh, yeah so okay. <laughs> um but yeah no, i've been i've been in and around france quite a lot on you know be it school trips or just you know family holidays and stuff so I was, just, right. I was just seeing exactly where i just looked it up on a map but i found it it's right on the border you should like, try so. the east now the east coast of france yeah <laughs> if i ever come back over i'm gonna you know maybe come over that way so no problems <laughs> no problems i'll make cool. you visit yeah make me visit that's all sounds good so. <laughs> we, have fine, we have fine beer and wine here yes and cheeses as well so yeah cheese of course of yes course. of course <laughs> so um okay just a couple of questions about yourself as well now um because we've sort of covered the band side of things obviously you've got a new album coming out or a new album being recorded and on its way um so a bit more about you as a musician and as a person um, okay if you could name your three top albums that kind of molded you to the the musician person that you are as a drummer, you mean? Or... As, as a drummer or any other, you know, instrument you might play. But yeah, three albums that really kind of made you pick up those sticks and wanted to play drums. Oh, tough one. Uh, <laughs> for sure, uh, the, the first Slipknot album. Yeah. Because yep. when, when it came out, uh, when Joey Jordison was at his, his very top uh, level, yep. yeah, it just hit me in the face. I just felt like, whoa. This is awesome. So yeah, this has made me want uh, want to work more on my drums for sure. Cool. Uh, yeah, the first Limp Biscuit album, of course. Yes. Too, because it was the first time that uh, 
and then we are we hear of course rap and metal together yeah and yeah just awesome uh um maybe the first periphery album too oh really cool yeah kind of drummer stuff but uh yeah yeah, yeah. just when i hear it first time it was really great the level the skill of, of the of the guy yes they're, they are an intense out band i've seen them a couple of times now and um they're, yeah they're fantastic live i mean i love them on the albums but um yeah live they're just a it's just their music really does resonate and it's um i've never had the chance to see them live but yeah yeah i guess yeah. they just released a new album today i guess no or is it today uh yes, yes yeah if they have i've missed that so <laughs> <laughs> yeah check check the new one it's good it's, it's it's more brutal i guess it's go more back to the the root of the band okay no I maybe that's why i like it more <laughs> yeah Okay, uh, so it's periphery. not for all. So maybe it's just just one song. Okay, maybe just a song today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, periphery three select. Yeah. Difficulty. <laughs> select difficulty. Yes. Yeah, they are, they are ma- making lots of uh, geek stuff too, like we are. Mm. Yes. No, they're they're very one of, one of those bands can kind of get you know into that and. Yeah, that's cool. You know, but they're actually they're touring the states and they're not playing anywhere near me. So, all right. So, <laughs> but they've got sixth okay. in tow with them, which is amazing. So, <laughs> You're going to see them, don't worry. Sorry? You're going to see them, of course. They're, they're, they're going to come to Florida, I guess. If they do come to Florida, but it doesn't look like they've got a Florida date on their tour. So, oh, but they've got okay. a, a friend of mine's band, Sixth. I don't know if you've heard of them, a UK band called Sick. Uh, they were kind of... Really... Oh, yeah, yeah, Sick, of course. Yeah, 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 yes. sure. Yeah, uh, they're actually right. their first US tour is supporting them, so... That's, oh. That would be an intense show, so... Sure, yeah, that's yeah. that's awesome. I, I was I was really a fan of them, too. Uh... Yeah, no, it's nice to see them back, because they, they went away for a yeah. bit, and uh, yeah, yeah. kind of left that hole in the, in the scene, but now they're back, and they seem to be enjoying it, so... Cool. That's really cool. <laughs> so, um... Nice what... news. Sorry? Mm, nice news, cool yes, news. Nice, yes, indeed. So, what are your um, your hobbies away from music? So, you know, away from making music, playing music. What do you do uh, to kind of unwind or escape from it? Is there anything you do? I used to play a lot of video games, of course, uh-huh. <laughs> because as, as the name of the band uh, says yes. it, we're all playing lots of uh, all all kind of video games. But um, no, I'm doing. Uh, Lots of uh, videos because that's my job now. Okay. So most of the time I make videos for for bands, metal bands, most of the time too. Cool. And uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, that's pretty much all of my free time oh, <laughs> because yes. uh, if you want to live on it, it's gonna it's taking forever because you need to shoot lots of bands and uh, yeah. work work a lot on effects and this kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, I, start, I started to to make videos like five years ago, with making all only videos of of my band, and slowly I I made I made lots of uh, videos for bands from France, not for France. Um, I, I had a, I made a video for Suicide Silence uh, when they came to France. Oh nice! Made, so yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, in the metal, in the metal uh, area, there are not so not many people in France making videos. So, it, so it's it's pretty cool. You can get uh, pretty easily um, on cool shows. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, that that's taking pretty much lots of my time. Oh, that's cool. So, um, apart from Suicide Silence, any other bands that we may have heard of that you've done videos? <sighs> the other, maybe, uh, ah, The Ocean. I made a video for The Ocean. Oh, cool. Yes. Um, the other bands are mostly French or Switzerland bands. Uh-huh. So, um, Mass Hysteria, but I'm not sure. No, it, it's very big in France, but it's France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I've made a lot uh, recently, so yeah, all in my head. But um, okay, so where can people reach the band online? Uh, um, we have the Facebook page, of course. Yeah. We have we have a YouTube channel, all the normal stuff. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's all pretty- it's all uh, like at Smash It. I know Twitter's Smash It Combo. 
Um, Twitter, we have it, but uh, in France, it's not really uh, not not many people use it in France, I no. guess. Okay. So we have a page. Uh, everything is is uh, is updated, but um, uh, we're not a lot into Twitter for now. Okay. Maybe we're wrong, but <laughs> we well, I, I use Twitter all the time. So <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that's yeah. that's my main uh, my main yeah? social media oh, okay. outlet. I mean, I have Facebook, but because it's been so uh, cut back for like organic reaching on what I do. Oh, okay. I, 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 I yeah. kind of I don't want to put money into it. I'm very cheap. So, okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to put money into it. So Twitter, because it gives me the most amount of coverage. I have the okay. most like followers on there. I, you know, I concentrate a lot on that one. So it, kind right. of, it, it works for me. Um, but uh, obviously, you know, in some countries, it's like you say, it's not a big thing in France. So yeah, in France, it's not not many people use it. But uh, I mean, for for bands, lots of people use it too. Or yeah. uh, I okay, mean, I find I find like whenever I'm posting up my playlists and stuff like that, it gets the most reaction on Twitter. Oh, right. Um, okay. So I get like each band, like liking it, retweeting it or whatever they do it. Um, okay. You know, and it, it kind of, it just gives me that coverage and I get a couple of more followers that listen to my show. Yeah. You okay. Know, stuff like that. So. so we got to get updated about it now. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, just connect it to your Facebook page and you know, when you update yeah, your we, Facebook. No, we're doing it. Yeah. This, this is, um, this is the, the, the stuff we've done uh, uh, before. Yeah, yeah. So um, you can everyone can find you on obviously Facebook, Twitter. They can find you yeah. on. Um, or, do you have all the other social media? Obviously YouTube. You mentioned as well. Do you have like? Um, yeah, we have uh, Bandcamp. Know, Bandcamp. All stuff. The other one. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Cool, cool. So people can buy your music from there as well. Uh, I know yeah. your music is available on the streaming sites as well, like Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah, because yeah, um, definitely. I checked out. I I listen to it on there when I'm out on the road and stuff. I um. I stick my streaming service on because I've got unlimited data with my phone, so it doesn't cost me anything. <laughs> okay. But then it doesn't take up the space in my phone to have the music on there. So okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, and um, with your video making area, yeah. if you want to um, let us know where we can find you on that, um, you might get some people watch your videos. Yeah, it's stuff, a, so. it's uh, it's called C H uh, S Production. C H S Production. Yeah. Okay. pretty easy to find okay <laughs> and that's that uh obviously facebook youtube yeah 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 the same, okay uh, cool. yeah, the same. and youtube channel and so whatever cool. well <laughs> we've we've come to the end now i've run out of questions <laughs> um so All right. um, yeah no, well. I, I just want to say thank you for your time um and uh good luck with Thanks recording for inviting us yeah no <laughs> problem at all it's my pleasure it's uh good luck with recording your album next month um in both french and english <laughs> um, english first english first english first and then for yeah well send me both copies because you never know which one i might play so okay no problem because um, i have no problem playing the french versions if the if i feel they sound better or if i feel it you know uh, it's better. gonna be your choice you're gonna tell okay. me what's because i i do have french <laughs> listeners uh who listen to my show and um they were like they okay. were very recent new fans of the show and okay. they loved it when i played you guys because it was in french <laughs> so oh, okay um so i, I put my yeah, but, but I, there's gonna be english for english listeners and french for french listeners yes. everybody's gonna be happy i'll do a mashup then so yeah okay <laughs> That's better. I'm better. um but yeah now i've got a couple of new like french people that on i because i upload my show on mixcloud every week okay it's like a streaming okay. service like and cool. um yeah and they just react to they reacted really well to hearing a french band on there so you know that <laughs> we're was, the only one uh yeah you're the only one that's really sent me any music so cool um i do try and look into you because i always try and fish out these bands that have that crossover sound because there's a lot in that area especially with like the sort of like more gothic metal um, oh yeah they okay. have that kind of like old like um dance feel to them on some of them um obviously they you know electronic dance music kind of you know resonates in, yeah. the, in the industrial side of things so all right all right um, but not a lot of them send me music and then i got obviously music from you guys and it you know opens that <laughs> opens that up so <laughs> okay. it's, it's all nice. good so um yeah like i said thank you for joining me uh on this on the, on my show and um yeah good luck with everything and uh i'm sure Thanks we'll be in touch uh regarding when you have your album out and stuff and uh Everyone sure. go check them out. Smash Hit Combo. You can find them. They've got their own website. You can find them on Facebook, Bandcamp, Twitter. They're on the streaming services. So yeah, go listen to them. They're great. So 
Thank you again, Bryce. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Have a good one, man. Thank you. 